Just report on sports. He lives it. Only on CBS 2 News. You like that? He backed his car over, man. Did he use his vehicle as a weapon? Next, Judge Judy. You think that he hit you with his car on purpose? I believe he did. Today at 3 on CBS 2. American Idol Simon has a twisted new idea. Cupid premieres CBS Wednesday, July 9th. Freezing. I thought I'd get some wood for the fire in case Sage gets cold. What time is it? I don't know. The sun just came up. It's like five or six. So you've been up since <laughs> what? I couldn't sleep last night. I kept thinking about my daughter. I can't tell you how much this is going to change my life. <sighs> oh, I'll never get used to how cold it gets here in June. And I will never get used to these eyelashes. <sighs> She's going to be a heartbreaker, like her mommy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I get a fire started, you know? Gotta take care of my girls. When do you think you'll be ready to leave? I don't know why. I'm selfish. I want to get you home. But we don't have a porch and all kinds of people on it. You're awake. I thought I'd get a fire started. It's cold outside. I thought I smelled coffee. Rick made it before he left. He said to tell you he had early rounds. He makes the best coffee. What are you doing? Trying not to look like the kind of girl who attracts serial killers. So what do you think? Um, Brittany before her close-up. Good, good. Not good. You can't go to work that way. You're going to scare the patients. But Mom, I need to look different, okay? For Gordo? For Chris. Honey, I know how much you like Chris, and I know he's not exactly reciprocating. Oh, no, Mom, you're wrong. He is reciprocating. Big time. He kissed me last night. Twice. He was really into it. It's your first day. You're allowed to lose a phone call. At least I didn't lose three patients and a nurse. Excuse me? I wouldn't go around spreading that rumor if I were you. Oakdale Memorial, may I help you? Is Dr. Daniels working the shift? I'll take it. It's Dr. Chris Hughes. How may I help you? I'm calling from San Francisco Mercy hospital with the information Dr. Daniels requested on Eric Decker. You think I killed those patients? No, I don't. Then why take me off rounds? Why take away all my patients? I'm doing it to protect you and to protect this hospital. God forbid another patient dies. I don't want anyone to be able to point their finger at you. Yes, come in. Bob, do you have a moment? Yes, of course. Doctor, I'll see you in class. Did you uh, get my message? Yeah. Thanks. Do you want to have lunch? You're asking me to have lunch with you? Yeah, I thought we'd take a table in the cafeteria. And I'll even let you put sugar in my coffee. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks. That was a very nice gesture. He's understandably shook up. Yeah, it's not a problem, Bob. Well, what can I do for you? It's what I can do for you. My letter of resignation. Whoever killed Spangler is going to be gunning for his crew. McCann, Stanley, especially McCann. If we lose McCann, we're definitely not going to find Lillian Rose. Well, I got a dragnet set up with the state police. It's been 10 hours. Unless you throw a roadblock on every artery in this city, you're not going to find them. I'm the only chance you've got. Yeah, that's the only problem we have. You're not a cop. Oh, you're not trustworthy. And you're a suspect. Whoever stabbed Spangler was on and off that roof while your guys still had their guns in their holsters. You know that? I know that. Last I checked, you were there, too. Hey, I'm entitled to a phone call. I'd like to make a phone call now. Hey,
with the schedule, we're going to start meeting at 2 in the morning. Yet. Uh, you're right about that. Oh, my golly, there's Barbara. Mm. I want to run and say hello to her. Go ahead. This is probably my contact at the station. I told him to call me if anything surfaced with Lillian Rose. Okay. Let me know what he says. Okay. Shanks? Molly, it's me. Don't hang up. I'm only allowed one phone call, so please, you with me? So they finally arrested you? I was set up. Of course you were. Listen, Spangler's dead. He got knifed in the back, and the cops think I did it. Did you? Molly, Lily and Rose are still missing, and they're in great danger. Then we gotta find McCann before whoever killed Spangler kills him, too. We? Come on, I'm not, I'm not asking you to do it for me. Just do it for Lily and Rose, all right? I'd appreciate it if you come down to the station. To bail you out, not a chance. Come on, Molly, just do it, would you? Lose my number, Dusty. Molly, I got disconnected. Sorry, pal. One call means one call. As the World Turns is brought to you by Tide. It's got to be Tide. This is Mom. She grew up in the Iron Age. Not that one. This one, when you iron to get rid of wrinkles, Danny Advance changed all of that. It's a fabric softener, and it reduces wrinkles in the wash. Mom tosses a Danny ball in, and here's the cool part. It releases by itself in the rinse. It keeps lots of nasty wrinkles out of here. And Mom, out of the Iron Age. Thank you very much. Downy Advanced in, wrinkles and static out. I definitely gave them to you. I remember you had them. I haven't got them. Where are they? Check your bag. <laughs> Look. Tampax Compact. They're plastic, they're small, they're so discreet, only you'll know it's a tampon. Sugar, aren't you supposed to be on a diet? Yeah. The one, the only, Tampax. Want to build weak hair stronger in just 10 days? Mm. Team Pro V for unbeatable strength. The Pro Vitamin formula fortifies hair, making it up to 80% stronger against breakage in 10 days, guaranteed. Weak, broken hair was so 10 days ago. Pantene strength, that's the beauty of health. And now look for the new Pantene hairspray collection. You are 12 months old. a lot about your world through moving which is why these days you're unstoppable and it's why Pampers makes cruisers with unstoppable stretch eight-way stretch to stretch in any way you can possibly think of going Pampers cruisers inspired by babies created by Pampers I'm ready. <laughs> I don't think so no way no honey hey Oh, Nesquik. Moms and kids agree on Nesquik. Kids love the taste. You love it's fortified to help build strong bones. Nestle Nesquik. Kids delicious, mom nutritious. Rex and the beige carpet. Now, whatever dirt and odors Rex drags in, Resolve made just for steam machines takes them out. Sooner or later, you'll need Resolve for steam machines. Eliminates odors. Don't miss a hot concert with Train. Discover the difference. Tomorrow on The Early Show. How many CEOs do you know who give out snacks and pick up trash? This one does, and his company is taking off. 60 Minutes 2, Wednesday at 9, 8 Central. Thanks for thinking of us, Mike. It is chilly in here. Yeah, I can take it from here. So, okay. How's my favorite girls? I feel like I was run over by a cement truck. But Sage here couldn't be happier or hungrier. It's a lot of work getting born. Uh, if you know this, this wood's too green to catch. Let's just use a kindling. It'll smoke. I'll go cut some drywood. Any suggestions? Because I can't seem to win here no matter what.
Donovan give it up? No. He's not going to either. But he's involved in this. I just don't know to what extent. You think he was set up? I don't know. Maybe. Look, I know you're up to your eyeballs at the hospital, but if you got 10 minutes, do you think you could talk to Barbara? You think Barbara ordered Rose's kidnapping? Well, I'm glad to see that you're getting out. Well, I could stay home and nurse my grief, but what good would that do? Paul would still be dead. Oh, any news about Rose and Lily? The man that was holding them hostage was murdered at the drop site. Oh, my God. Lily's yeah. not home yet? I mean, I know that Dusty pulled Rose into his problems. Yeah, and whose fault is that? I just assumed everything was all right when I hadn't heard anything. Well, no, Barbara, it's not all right. Rose and Lily are still missing. Poor Lily. She would be home with her children if it weren't for that woman coming oh, to town. Oh, Barbara, for heaven's sakes. You don't mean that. I most certainly do. Now, you can blame me for putting Dusty in Rose's path, but I think we've all learned by now that a rose is a rose is a rose is a rose. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? You just helped make up my mind. Thank you very much. About what? I have to do something first, and I'll see you at the station later, okay? All right. I want to hear what's going on. Absolutely. That woman is so rude. Barbara, how can you work with her, Kim? Whatever happened to let bygones be bygones? I mean, have you forgotten so soon how kind and thoughtful of you Rose was when you found out that Paul was dead? My son is gone because of that woman. Rose D'Angelo is getting exactly what she deserves. Chris Hughes, uh, kissed you twice? Well, four times, actually. Twice last night. Why, you think I'm too disgusting for any guy to bother? No, no. I was just wondering <clears throat> if kissing was all you did. You know something, Mom? You have sex on the brain. I have sex on the brain? The last time I walked in this room, Dr. Gordon was trying to corner you. Now it's Chris. Chris did not corner me, Mom. I wanted to kiss him. And no, we did not have sex. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Enough with the lipstick. You already have every young doctor in Oakdale smitten. But I want him to take me seriously, Mom. Even Rick said that I should try to act more grown up. Yeah, but I'm sure he wasn't advocating fire engine red lipstick. Okay, fine. Woo I want to be more grown up. So how do I do it? Dr. Daniels called asking for information on Dr. Decker. And asked me to call before I faxed it, given the confidential nature of the request. Of course, go ahead and send it. Um, I'll pick it up and give it to him myself. Have him call me if he has any questions. So what happened? Family emergency? Where's the fax machine? Next to the nurse's lounge. You want to resign? I want to make things easier for you. Easier by making me shorthanded? Doctor, you're treating me. The last thing I want is for you to resign. No, I will not accept this. Well, it's nice to know that someone still has confidence in me. What are you talking about? Bob, you told me yourself. Walker Daniels considers me a suspect. It's a rather unnerving bit of information, wouldn't you say? Rick, I don't have to remind you that four patients have died in this hospital. The police are involved. As chief of staff, I have to cooperate with the investigation. Now, I came to you ignoring Dr. Daniel's recommendation and told you that he considered you a suspect. Am I still a suspect, Bob? There's nothing like a great night's sleep. I can get an early start in the morning and go out and do something just for me. It's a really good feeling. If you sometimes have trouble sleeping but worry about taking something, try Tylenol PM. It stops your pain and eases you into a restful night's sleep so you can wake up refreshed. Come on, honey. It's time to get up. I love my Tylenol PM. Wetting the bed? I'd really like to stop that. If one of my friends came over and I wet the bed, I would feel scared. 
They have helped because I don't wet the sheet anymore because of the good nights. So I don't have to change my sheet or my blanket. I just put on new ones and I go right back to sleep. To the one in nine kids who wet the bed, good nights disposable underpants protect yet look and feel like real underwear. Good nights mean good mornings. They helped me be more confident in myself. We make a lot of cereal here. You know what our favorite is? Hey! We can't keep it to ourselves! One of the best tasting cereals I've ever had. Hey, how about some honey bunches of oats? Wow. Thanks. I like the honey oat flavor. Nice. We just can't make enough of it. Sure, you can have more clusters. <laughs> Hey, can I have another bowl? Everybody loves this stuff. We gotta feed America! <laughs> Honey bunches of oats with strawberries. Try it today! The head quilter is here. Oh, and she didn't come alone. When you care as much as we do about making quilted Northern Ultra, you can't be too careful. It's so luxuriously soft, everyone wants to know how we do it. Our secret? A top layer of ultra soft absorbent micro quilts. For the ultimate clean. And another silky smooth layer of ultra softness. Wow, two layers. We really do care. Not so loud. Our competition might be listening. Not to worry. We are very well protected. Quilted Northern Ultra. It's all in the quilting. The Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale is on now, with bras starting at just $9.99, panties at $2.99. Save on sleepwear, hosiery, even beauty products. It's the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale, and you've just got to be there. Only the Biore Pour Perfect Strip pulls out dirt like this. Because only Biore has the pour target system that seeks out dirt and blackheads for the deepest clean possible. Wow, looks like a porcupine. Biore. Brilliant. Heinz tomato ketchup in the new upside down bottle. No wait, no mess, no anticipation. You said it yourself, the timing rules you out. You came to Memorial after Crumley died. You couldn't have been involved. Bob, you know that and I know that. And Dr. Daniels seems to think that I'm in the clear, but I still get this feeling that he has his doubts about me. Daniels is dealing with raw data. Now, he hasn't come to any conclusions about you, and he won't because you're innocent. Yeah. Bob, you don't know what your support means. I just wish that Daniels and the police would listen to you. Well, I can't tell the police what to do. No, and I'm not going to pressure you. The teclopamine you're taking does a lot to minimize the stress, but it doesn't eliminate it all completely. Not to worry. There's been no sign at all of any more micro-strokes. Oh, good. I promise not to trouble you again. Listen, Rick. This, uh, this is a very difficult time right now. But the police and Dr. Daniels know that you're my personal physician. I trust you with my life. Just give it some time. It'll sort itself out. I know you're right, Bob. Thanks. Dr. Daniels, these came in for you from San Francisco Mercy. Why wasn't I called? The nurse at the desk is brand new. I was just helping out, so I ended up taking the message. Thank you. Dr. Daniels, do you really think that Dr. Decker is capable of murder? Isn't Dr. Gordon the more likely suspect? How do I have to look for Krista like me? Just the way you are, which is lovely. What guy wouldn't like you? Why wouldn't Chris like you? You're a beautiful girl with a well, I don't want to be a girl, Mom. Don't you get it? I want to be a woman. Allison, what is Mom, your you gosh? can skip the lecture on the joys of being young. I'm not saying that I want to be old. I just don't want people to think he's babysitting when he takes me out. You just don't get it. You know what I think? I think that those kisses last night scared you. You know that something's changed, and you don't know what to expect, which is normal, for no, no matter how old you are. So, what am I supposed to do next time I see him? Smile, and tell him you had a good time, 
but keep on going. Don't, don't tell him about those kisses, and then, and don't tell him that you love him. I didn't say that I love him. And whatever him. you do, don't ask him when you're going to get together again, okay? So I'm just supposed to pretend like it didn't happen? Mom, that's so lame. Oh, just, just forget it. It's just a, that kind of talk gets you into a lot of trouble. Everyone knows how I feel about Rose D'Angelo. There is no point in pretending otherwise. Did I kidnap Rose and Lily? No, I did not. But I hate that woman, Kim. She cost me my son. All right, you've just got to admit that considering your history... My history? It, yes. Oh, come on, when have I ever made the same mistake twice? I mean, you yourself said that you knew that I wasn't in my right mind when I let James come back into I my life. I tell the truth, sometimes I wonder if you're ever going to be in your right mind again. Barbara, listen, you were just starting to make some progress with Will. Can't you just kind of I it? think that maybe you're right. I got ready to get out. Yet, my nerves are a little raw. Kim. Good morning, ladies. Oh, Hal. Hi. Good to see you, darling. I'll... I'll talk to you later. What brings you here? Do you think that I kidnapped them too? You got company. What happened to lose my number? I'm not here for you. I'm here for Lily and Rose. I had nothing to do with what happened to them. Now I can save them if you help me out. You remember McCann? Hmm? He knows where they are. Did you tell Margo this? No. Well, I mean, the, she's sending out the brilliant cops instead of me. Oh, and this surprises you. <sighs> These guys are no amateurs, Molly. You know, they've been on the wrong side of the law for a long time. A guy like McCann, if he even smells heat, he's going to disappear. If he's not gone already. And what do you need me to do, Dusty? Lure him out of hiding. Coming up on As the World Turns. You'll drive halfway across the country when you're not invited and camp out on my porch where you're not wanted. If I was married to Carly, you mean to tell me you wouldn't be there for that little girl? Dr. Daniels is looking into all new hires. It doesn't mean that Rick is guilty. The guy's sleeping with my mother. Allergies can strike anywhere, anytime. That's why I take Clarinex. Clarinex helps block histamine. Get 24-hour non-drowsy allergy relief from pets, pollen, mold, and dust. Side effects are similar to sugar pill, including sore throat, dry mouth, and fatigue. Clarinex. Talk to your doctor. About the anywhere, anytime allergy relief of Clarinex. What's it like to crunch into the Twix Wake Twix? Creamy. Crunchy. Cookie. Twix! In the mix. It's all in the mix. Why worry? Relax. Trust Dulcolax, the overnight laxative more doctors recommend. It's gentle enough for sensitive stomachs, yet strong enough for complete relief. So relax. Trust Dulcolax for overnight relief guaranteed. My hair color does something yours doesn't. Because it's new Garnier Nutrice, the only hair color that nourishes with grapeseed and avocado oils. Rich, radiant color. All because Nutrice means nourish. So hair takes color better and holds it longer, root to tip. And speaking of color, nourished hair means better color. And grays, gone, guaranteed. Can your hair color do all that? New Garnier Nutrice, nourished hair, better color. Garnier, trust them, they're experts. Imagine combining the stain-fighting power of Effortant and freshening power of Listerine. You'd get Effortant Plus. It's extra fresh, and nothing gets your dentures cleaner. Effortant Clean, Listerine Fresh. Ah. That's Effortant Plus. I can't follow them everywhere, so our cuts get Neosporin. Compared to the leading prescription topical antibiotic, Neosporin is eight times more effective at keeping skin bacteria free. Longer-lasting infection protection. That's Neosporin. Every cut, every time. Hi, Jay Bush and Duke here for Bush's Country Style Baked Beans. 
April all that beautiful bean footage. They're slow cooked with extra brown sugar and hickory smoked bacon, so the sauce is thicker and the flavor is richer. I've only shared Bush's secret family recipe with Duke, and he's not talking. Well, Duke, look, crop circle. You don't think UFOs? Yeah, that's it, UFOs. Try Bush's country style baked beans. when you're trying to win the amazing race. So why are Chip and Riken refusing to take this flight? I'm not taking the risk. Don't miss the all-new Amazing Race, CBS Thursday. CBS Tuesday, July 8th. Get into the most outrageous house party of the year. Hey, big 13 new faces, three incredible nights. It's on. Hello. Plus a surprise twist. So unbelievable, all of America will be talking. Yeah. An all-new Big Brother premieres CBS Tuesday, July 8th. Why men may be able to keep their hair forever at 4.30. If your window treatments leave something to be desired, call Empire today. Shop at home and have your window treatments installed next day. Plus, no payments for one year. Call Empire today. I'm a mother with two young children. My metabolism has slowed down. 40 pounds overweight, I figured this is the way it's supposed to be. It took me 10 years to put it on. It took me five months to take it off. I'm as much of a people watcher as everyone else, so we'll be walking along, and all of a sudden, I'll notice people going like this a little bit, and it feels good. It works fast, and it's easy. You really can lose the weight fast and easy with L.A. Weight Loss. L.A. Weight Loss Centers, call for your free consultation, 1-800-526-SLIM. In 30 years, Saudi Arabia has changed from a desert kingdom into a modern nation. A nation whose citizens are educated and committed to a more secure future. We are proud of how far we've come in 30 years and look forward to strengthening our alliances. The people of Saudi Arabia. Bill Zwecker talks to the star of the Hulk at 4.30. From the producer of CSI, Cold Case, CBS This Fall. Jack is never going to make peace with this. He just wishes I would disappear, but that's not going to happen, right? Because that's probably my dog. No, Mike, nobody wants you to disappear. I respect his position. I mean, he is your husband. And I've tried to back off. I've tried to give the two of you space, but I I'm not going away. Mike, um, could I get some help with the sleeping bag out here? It's kind of big, and every time I try to fold it, it swallows me up. I'll get it. I want to see her. Oh, she's bigger. <laughs> she's even more beautiful. So the boys are still going at it, huh? Yeah. Jack feels crowded, Mike feels left out, and I have no idea how to fix this. Well, the first thing we need to do is get rid of the axe. <laughs> and hide all the forks and the knives. I just have this really bad feeling that it's only going to get worse. If Mike is her father, I don't know how Jack is going to deal with that. So you don't think the results of the paternity test are going to make any difference here? The trouble is, they both want her. Well, isn't that a good thing? Yes. No, it would be if, if they could not fight and share her, but they're so competitive. Oh, Sage. I wanted it to be so special when you met your daddy. It's a sacred thing. I know. And it will be. I promise. You think you could get the door? You think you'd give me a break? That's fine. You want to build a fire, knock yourself out. No, you know what? I would never dream of taking anything away from you, Jack. No, you'll drive halfway across the country when you're not invited and camp out on my porch where you're not wanted. And just to prove a point, which you've already conceded. And if the tables were turned, if I was married to Carly, you mean to tell me you wouldn't be there for that little girl? Yeah, you know you would. Time out. Or not. Okay, as hot as it is out here, the cabin's not getting any warmer.
Mike? You know, you know what? That is it. I have tried all I am going to try with that guy. If I have to get a court order, I will do it. You know you don't want to do that. I think I might have an idea that will help. If I pretend like last night didn't happen, it would be like lying, which is what I thought you didn't want me to do. Did I say anything about pretending that last night didn't happen? No. I said that you smile, you tell them what a great time you had. But that's phony. Oh, Allison, you said you wanted to be taken seriously. You said you wanted to be treated like a woman. Well, a confident woman, a smart woman, knows how to acknowledge that she had a good time without acting all goony-eyed and jumping up and down and being all nervous. But I am nervous. So is he. He is? Oh, of course he is. That's why you must remain calm. That gives you both a chance to absorb what happened without putting pressure on anybody to, to define it or justify it or go further than you feel ready for. Peaks and valleys, sweetheart. Last night was a peak and today is a valley. But what if he thinks I don't like him anymore? He already knows you like him. And he obviously likes you. You're right. <laughs> Darling, he, he stuck by you while you were in prison. He got you a job where he works, and he came over here last night and kissed you, and you weren't even wearing fire engine red. So, well, it is a little bright. <laughs> <laughs> Really great on you. You think? Mm hmm. So, he really, really, really likes me? Oh, he really, 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 really likes you. Doctor, did you look at these faxes? I didn't have to. It's obvious you think Rick Decker is a suspect, and I don't get it. Gordo had the vibe. You are in no way competent to pass judgment on your colleagues, nor were you invited to offer an opinion. This is a multiple murder investigation, Doctor, and no one, including yourself, is immune from questioning. <laughs> so now I'm a suspect. If you were, would you want Dr. Decker looking at your personal files, speculating on your guilt behind your back? No, of course not. Good. If it happens again, I will go straight to your superiors. Dr. Daniels, Rick Decker is treating my father. If he's a murder suspect, I'm sorry, but I'm concerned. I understand your concern, Chris, and if there was a risk, I'd let you know, but at this point, it's still too early. We are in the fact-finding stages. But if anything changes... Of course, I'll let you know. In the meantime... I won't tell anybody about the facts. Thank you, Doctor. Did you? Kidnap Rose and Lily? No. Good. So what do we do now? How make small talk? Barbara, I stopped by to see you because I know how hard you were hit by Paul's death. Now, if you don't want to talk about it, fine. Let's... Talk about the weather. I'm sorry, I... I just got hit by a truckload of stuff from Kim. I guess, you know, I guess I really am the... the suspect here, but... Frankly, I don't have a stomach for any of it, not any of it at all. I just... I just want to be there for Will and work on my new company by myself. I'm sorry. Barbara, it was a rotten break. Paul was a hell of a guy, and he was a wonderful brother to Will. Now, we all miss him. You know, last night, I, I went to Java Underground, and I toasted him. 
He always told me that when I was down, I should just pick myself up, dust myself off, and so that's what I did. I got all dolled up, and uh, there I was, all alone, with a bottle of champagne, wishing to God that he was still here. It's just so unfair. Yes. Yes, it is. But I will get through this. I'm not going to shut myself off from the world. I will be sketching and reorganizing my company, and I will be there for Will. I'm not going to let Paul down. I will do whatever it takes, and I won't let him down. You want to use me as bait? No. Yes, you want me to lure McCann out of hiding so what? He can slit my throat, drag me off to be with Lillian Rose? No. You just delivered this note to me. I want you to put that under my door to make you. Spangler's dead. You're in danger. Get in touch, Dusty. You want me to deliver this to you? As soon as McCann figures out that Spangler's dead, he's going to come looking for me. He's going to find the note and he's going to get in touch. That has got to be the worst plan that I've ever heard. If McCann is still in town, if he finds out Spangler's dead, if he comes by your apartment, and then if he can figure out where the hell you are, if he's willing to pop yes, his head... Yes, unless you've gotten a better idea, yeah. But you got to promise me you don't hang around. You put that under the door and you get out of there. I don't need you getting hurt. Mm, you're all heart. Thank you. Can you keep your barbecue chicken from sticking? Yes, you can. With Pam, America's favorite no-stick spray. Spray the cold grill, spray the tongs. With Pam, your barbecue just comes out better. Pam, America's favorite no-stick spray. Best Western is the largest hotel chain in the world. Over 4,000 hotels in over 80 countries, all inviting you to get a good night's sleep. Best Western, the world's largest hotel chain. Visit bestwestern.com. Note to self, now that split ends are history, need to keep hair strong without breaking budget. Introducing Tresemme Total Strength Shampoo and Conditioner. Tresemme's new specialized keratin protein formula means 60% less splitting, so your hair is healthy and strong. Oh, stay strong. Okay, I'm weak. At least my hair isn't. Professional, affordable, and now specialized for color, strength, or moisture. Tresemme new Total Strength. Ooh la la. Night, it's when most of the world sleeps. A time to reset our clock so we can begin a new day. It's all part of the rhythm of life. But for many, this healthy cycle is disrupted because sleep doesn't always come easy. Fortunately, there's Ambien. Ambien is a prescription sleep aid that can help you get a full night's sleep. While natural sleep is best, Ambien helps you fall asleep fast, stay asleep longer, and wake rested and refreshed, not groggy the next morning. No wonder Ambien is the number one prescribed sleep aid in America. Until you know how Ambien will affect you, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery. Side effects may include drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. You shouldn't take it with alcohol. Patients who abuse prescription sleep aids may become dependent. Prescription sleep aids are most often taken for 7 to 10 days as needed. Your doctor will advise you about taking them longer. Take Ambien only when you can devote a full 7 to 8 hours to sleep and wake rested and ready to start your day. Talk to your doctor about Ambien. Ambien works like a dream. Introducing a new sauce specially made for dipping. No more chicken nuggets. How about some vegetables? Oh, yeah. Hellman's Dippin' Sauce. It's thick with a great taste that'll keep you dipping. Down with the breadsticks, guys. Yeah. New Hellman's Dippin' Sauce. Just try to stop dipping. Nothing else to eat, guys. Dip into the Hellman's and bring out the best. From the creator of JAG, when crimes happen in the military, the naval CIS takes on the case. I don't have to salute you or give you any military courtesy. Follow them from the crime scene. What do you got for us? One deceased pregnant lieutenant. To the lab. 
All the forensics have got to be tight. Ta. And into the courtroom. What was your intent? My intent was justice. Mark Harmon, Naples, CIS, CBS This Fall. And she's just sitting up in the bed, stone cold dead. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't discuss that case, doctor. Chris is just afraid that he might be next. You shouldn't even be here. Why, am I crowding you? No, but you scared Allison half to death last night. I told her that someone planted that vial in my lab coat. Yeah, well, if that were the truth, you'd have taken it to the police and not tried to ditch it at her house. The police don't have a problem. Neither does your father. So where do you get off, Chris? What, do you think I'm a serial killer? Or you just hate the fact that I kissed Allison? You know what? You stay away from her until this is over. Or what? You gonna plant something in my shoe, my car, my locker? Gentlemen, this is neither the time nor the place. <clears throat> Sorry, Dr. Hughes. Won't happen again. Look, I'm sorry, Dad. It's just he tried to chuck that vial that the police have been looking for. And the response is that it's what? Let him back to work? I mean, he shouldn't even be here. He's off rounds until Dr. Daniels finishes the investigation. I assure you, it's for his own protection. I don't believe that he's our guy. Yeah. Nor does Walker. I know, Dr. Daniels is looking into Rick Decker. You were saying? Nothing. I know Dr. Daniels is looking into all new hires, and it concerns me that Dr. Decker's treating you. Well, that should tell you all you need to know. Yeah, but Dad, I mean, if it's him, it makes him a psychopath. Son, I appreciate your concern. Chris, tell me I did not just hear that. Dr. Daniels thinks Rick's a serial killer? you had rounds. I did. Did you have a good morning? <laughs> Are you all right? Did something happen? I offered Bob my resignation. What? He didn't accept it. I should hope not. Well, I have Bob's confidence. I just wish I could say the same thing about Walker Daniels. The man has it in for me. I can just feel it. that Jack's married to her. So no matter how much I want to be my, uh, a father to my own child, I can't because he has a legal right to get in my way. You know, unless I try to get full custody, but come on, that's not going to happen. You think just some judge going to award custody of an infant to, to some guy your mother slept with the night before a wedding? The whole thing's a charade. Come on, you really think that they're going to be together in, in a couple years from now? No way. They can't even stay together for a weekend without finding some reason to break up. And then what happens to Sage? Of course, by then she'll be older and I might be able to get full custody of her. You're not actually hoping that Jack and Carly get divorced. No. Really, because it sure sounds like it. What is all that? Oh, uh, Hannah brought it over. It's, um, you know, she knew how into all of that, the Native American rituals I got, so she gave me this stuff for a new ceremony. Well, did she bring a birth certificate? I, I should have signed something. 
Uh, I imagine they're gonna wait for the paternity test. How do you think Jack feels? About what? About the fact that his wife just gave birth to a baby that might not be his. They settled it. They're together. How do you think he feels about you? I know how he feels about me. He already wants me gone. Probably because you're a constant reminder of what happened the night before he got married. Hannah thinks that we should do a blessing ceremony for the baby. Like a baptism? Well, kind of, not exactly. It's a way for you to bless Sage and Jack and Carly and to wish them all well. Ooh, it's so very, very cute. Where'd Mike and Katie go? Well, I think Katie was planning on taking Mike off someplace so we could have a little time alone together. God bless Katie. Yeah. How you doing? Uh, sore. But the heat helps. Sorry about the trouble over the wood. If you just back off a little, you know? We're not going anywhere. In my experience, Jack, the more people who love a child, the better. Yeah. Hey, good work, Dad. We try. <laughs> I'll trade you. Okie dokie. Oh, right here. Oh, hello, Sage. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I asked Emma to, to forward all our mail. You can throw the bills in the fire if you want. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no. So what did the doctor say? He said the reason that I'm having trouble getting around is pain from arthritis. Really? He said to get moving again. I should take a leave. But we've always taken Tylenol. I know, but the doctor said that nothing is better than a leave. Doctors know a leave can stop pain all day with fewer pills. And a leave works right at the site of arthritis. So how's the leave working? Like a charm. A leave. And for all day relief of your sinus pressure and pain, try a leave sinus and headache. Too old for breakouts? Too young for wrinkles? So you thought. New Neutrogena Anti-Wrinkle Anti-Blemish Cleanser. It's a first. It fights wrinkles and blemishes every time you cleanse. Skin looks clearer and younger. New Neutrogena Anti-Wrinkle Anti-Blemish Cleanser. Introducing La Creme Mousse. You'll love the texture. You'll love the taste. You'll love it or it's free. I love it. New Dan and La Creme Mousse. Love it or it's free. That's why GEICO's here, 24 hours a day, every day. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, hey, hi, I'm Baker. Don't mind me, I'm just a dermatophyte. You know, a nail infection. All I want is to get in here and live under your nail. You can't get me with clippers or those surface treatments you try on your own. I'm in too deep in your nail bed. I'll make myself comfortable and invite a few friends. Settle in. Do you have thick, discolored, or flaky nails? Millions of people do. It may be caused by an active, live infection. That's why you should ask your doctor about prescription-only Lamisil. Unlike surface treatments, Lamisil is a pill that works through the bloodstream to target and attack the infection at its source, underneath the nail. In fact, you can start to see clearer, healthier nails in just three months. Lamisil isn't for people with liver or kidney problems. Barely serious side effects in the liver or serious skin reactions have occurred, so your doctor may do blood tests. Other side effects, including headache, diarrhea, indigestion, and rash, were generally mild. Ask your doctor about Lamisil. It's the number one brand for treating infected nails. Once daily Lamisil tablets, get your nail infection where it grows. This fall, meet the Shaw Brothers. Daddy's not attracted to me anymore. Was she ever? This is the town they love. You know Hank. He hugs. And these are the wives who try to understand them. Okay, now they're making out. 
From David E. Kelly comes a unique new drama, The Brotherhood of Poland, New Hampshire, CBS This Fall. Dusty. Hang on a sec. Hang on. You okay? Mission accomplished. Good girl. Let's hope McCann gets in touch. Sorry, Miss McKenna. Not a problem. You can bury him for all I care. But well, you weren't even here when those killings started. Well, that's what I thought. No such luck. Dr. Daniels is going through my personal file, asking questions. No one's going to trust me. Honey, I trust you. Bob obviously trusts you. Yeah, but for how long, Susan? If Dr. Daniels keeps this up, I won't be able to practice. I won't have any patience. I can't go through this again. Dr. Daniels thinks Rick's the serial killer? No, no, I didn't say that. But if you're worried about your dad because Rick's treating him... No, 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 no. It's just everybody's a little tense at the moment. Gordo's being investigated. And Rick? Dr. Daniels is looking into all new hires. It doesn't mean that Rick is guilty. Chris, will you stop talking to me like some idiot who doesn't know when she's being snowed? The guy's sleeping with my mother. Well, we don't have Carly's feet. Carly's feet? Yeah, to wash. But it's not important. It'll work anyway. Um, will you hand me the book? And you're gonna need your bead. Really don't know what this is gonna prove. It's not gonna prove anything. It's a blessing. You bestow it. It's like a gift. It'll make you happy, fine, right? It's not to make me happy, Mike. It's to make the baby happy. Come on, sit down. You ready? Okay. You're on. This is my blessing for you, Sage. I really wish that you're healthy. Smart. And that you're happy. You know, and, and you smile a lot. That you're always surrounded by people who love you and care for you. And that all those people put aside whatever differences they may have because of that love for you. Even if it turns out that, uh, that I'm not your dad and Jack is. wasn't so hard, was it? Jack? Is everything okay? Yeah. Uh, I'll come back tomorrow. I want to bring you some more diapers and a load of groceries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. Take good care of your mama. Oh, Sage. my <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Bye, Jack. Hey. Jack. They okay? Your wife is coming along and Sage is terrific. Good, thanks. See you tomorrow. Hey! What is the matter? This letter is from the county clerk's office in Oakdale. On the next as the world turns. So Rick Decker is suspect number one. He's moved to the top of the class. Allison, you have to stop this right now. My mother is sleeping with Ted Bundy. What do you mean you can't go through this again? Susan, there's something I haven't told you. Nice job with the hamburger helper, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah, it's even better than when Mom makes it. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. He's right, this is good. What'd you do? Mm -mm. My little secret. Now, hamburger helper tastes better than ever. All your family's favorites. They're richer.